Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, to all of my returning YouTube family and friends. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Teresa, and I'm really excited that you guys decided to join me today. Today, I am going to be sharing with you my plan with me in my Carpe Diem Reset Girl, and it will be for the week of July 3rd through July 9th. And I just finished filming my plan with me in my Target Dollar Spot Planner. And now I am going to be doing my Carpe Diem. And then I am going to be doing my Happy Planner. And I explained in my other video that um, I am going to be filming several videos today, actually. I'm going to be doing all my plan with me's. I'm going to be doing um, several of my friend mail videos. I have um, a few um, online hauls, some Etsy shop hauls that I want to film today. So, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a lot that I'm trying to get done today. And the reason is because tomorrow is mine and John's 22nd anniversary. So I don't want to be doing a lot of filming tomorrow. I want to spend as much time as I can with my hubby. And I know we have plans to go to dinner tomorrow. Um, and as far as that, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing. So I did talk to my mom a little bit ago and... Um, her and I are either going later this afternoon, um, before I head over to my nephew's house for our family 4th of July get together. Um, we are going to be going over to, um, Connie's house, um, the one that, uh, passed away, um, a week ago yesterday. Um, her husband called my mom and asked if her and I would like to have anything of Connie's, um, like jewelry or whatever, um, since she doesn't have, um, any more children, um, and, um, he wanted, um, my mom and I to be able to, um, have whatever we would like of hers so we are going to be going and doing that um, either later today or first thing tomorrow um, so yeah um, I know Connie was very um, she made um, she was really into stamping up um, she did a lot of cards homemade cards oh my goodness she did beautiful cards and so she's got a lot of stamping up supplies. And I would love to be able to have those um, of hers because I really want to start learning how to do more stamping and do more of that sort of crafting. So I'm hoping that I will be able to get some of that. Um, and, you know, I... It'll mean a lot to me because it was hers. And um, so, yeah. Anyway, enough of that for now. I um, have my paper here ready. And I do have my washi picked out that I think I'm going to use in this one. And this, um, these three rolls came from the Michaels box set the 45 rolls of washi that we used to be able to get for ten dollars that are now what $24.99 so I think I'm going to use these three um I like this one because it's got you know the different sayings let me see if I can find the beginning there it is it's got um, Land of the Free, Stars and Stripes, USA, Freedom, Red, White, and Blue, and then America. 
I thought that was very nice. So I've got that one, and then I've got the blue with the white stars, and then the red and white striped. And I don't know, I mean, to me, I'm trying to keep this Carpe Diem planner more, um, I don't want to go like, you know, I like, I, I don't want to, I don't want to take away from the planner itself, you know, so I'm trying to stick more to, um, to the actual planner, you know, the, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I've had so much coffee this morning. My brain is like fried. <laughs> and then I, I'm going to use these stickers. Um, these are the canvas stickers from the Target Dollar Spot, and I love their canvas stickers. I got their canvas stickers that they had out for um, Valentine's Day. I'm telling you what, guys, these stickers are fantastic. I just love those. So that is what I'm going to be using today, and then obviously I'll throw in some of my other um, reset girl um, stickers as well <coughs> excuse me okay so I want to see I'm gonna put this down the middle and I think I'm gonna use the stars and the the um, the words on the sides Yeah, and then I'll do this one on the bottom. So let's go ahead and get started. So what is everyone's plans for the fourth? Um, I was explaining to you guys in my Target Dollar Spot Planner that we do a very big family um, get together on the fourth every year and we do anywhere from like four to six hundred dollars worth of fireworks everybody pitches in um, to get them and then um, over the years John and my nephew Jonathan have built different things to hold them when they're setting them off and um, that sort of thing Oh, and you know what? I did this wrong. Ah, I wanted to do the sides. Darn it. Well, I'm going to leave it because I can put the stripes underneath, I think. Let me just play with it and see what happens here. So, anyway, we, um, we do a big, big shindig for the fourth. I don't know why. We've always done it every year, and it's always so fun. Um, usually, we have it here at our house. And, um, but this year we've had several of the kids buy their own homes. Um, my nephew Nathan and his fiance is where we're going to be having it at their house, which they just bought their house. And then my niece Selena, um, just bought her house, um, a few months ago, Michaela and Tony just bought their house a couple weeks ago. And then um, my other nephew, Junior, and his girlfriend, Tommy, um, are in the middle of purchasing their home. So it's like every all the kids are like, you know, getting their own homes and, you know, they're wanting to do more and more of the things that um, we always host, you know, us parents, which is nice. <laughs> I'm um, quite pleased <laughs> that, um, you know, they're taking more of those responsibilities and I really shouldn't say a responsibility because it's 
really not um, a responsibility. It's just something that our family has always done. And um, I'm going to cut this off here. Um, I don't know. We've just always, the fourth has always been just a very big thing for us. And um, uh, every year it's always a big to do in our family. So everybody is always there. And it's just a lot of fun. And now, like I said, since the kids are getting older, it's like, you know, um, between us and my sister-in-law, the two of us, you know, the, the three of us, it's like the expense is being spread out among everybody because everybody contributes in some way, you know, whether it's food or, um, you know, like paper plates and plastic silverware, that sort of thing. Everybody uh, pitches in, which is, you know, it's so nice. It's just awesome to see how the kids have just really evolved and um, you know, have started contributing to the traditions and you know a lot of times are taking them under their own wings and um, which is cool I just I, it's so neat to see how how it all um, is evolving you know And our oldest is Amber, which she's the oldest of all of the kids. It goes Amber, then Jonathan. And um, she just turned 30, you know, and Jonathan's going to be 29 in August. And, you know, it's, it's so weird that our babies are adults <laughs> I, you know the youngest two are Isaac and Jahim and Isaac is let's see ja, let's see Isaac is a year older than Jaja and Jaja was born October 2nd 2001 Isaac so Isaac was born November 2000 of 2000 so Isaac will be 17 and Jaja will be 16 oh my goodness in October Ugh. so those are the youngest two of the kids like our kids and They're the only two that don't have families, thank goodness. But, um, so yeah, everybody else has, I'm trying to think, yeah, everybody, because Nathan and Tiff just had their first baby. So yeah, literally everybody, ex well, Anicia doesn't have any kids. So, there's just three of the kids that don't have children. Isn't that we? Oh my goodness. Like the next generation is here. <laughs> it's so crazy. Crazy, you guys. Just thinking about that just has me like, wow. That's kind of intense. <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh, that's so cute. Um, 
Yeah, that's crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to tell John when he gets home. <laughs> I know he'll be like, yeah, and, <laughs> but like, that's like, to me, that's like, whoa. I mean, Michaela's birthday is Saturday and she'll be 20. So like, we won't have any kids in their teens anymore. Oh my goodness. That's even weirder to me. Cause it's like, that's my baby. My, my baby is 20 years old. And my baby has a baby and has a home, a beautiful home. She uh, is getting married. She'll be married this year. <clears throat> God. She works full time. She goes to college. She's, you know, holy moly. I never, you know, would have dreamed this for, you know, you just don't think of those things when your babies are babies. And then it's like, it happens and you're like, holy cow, where did it go? So all I can say, if there are any young mothers out there watching this, is seriously cherish every moment you have with your babies and your, you know, your little ones because it goes so fast, you guys. I... You know, it doesn't seem like I was pregnant 20 years ago with my baby. It seems like I was pregnant yesterday with my baby. And, you know, now my baby has a baby. And it just flew by. And I don't know where it went. And I will never be able to take it back, get it back. And, I mean, not that I, you know, I mean, there was... I mean, yeah, there's things I would change, but nothing, um, major or, you know, anything like that, but maybe I would, I well, I definitely would go back and change the time that I spent with my kids. Um, you know, I worked and, um, so I didn't have, you know, a lot of time with my kids during the week. You know, I worked until five and, you know, I would come home, cook dinner. By the time we ate, it was seven 7.30, and, you know, then it's time, you know, when they were little for baths and bed, and, you know, I mean, I lost a lot of time, and I can't ever get that back. So, just, um, cherish Cherish, cherish, cherish that time, guys, because you can't get it back. Okay, I need... I need, I need... <laughs> to get 
some numbers. Use that trash. So yeah, guys, seriously cherish every moment with your kids. It's like you blink and it's gone. Okay. Are you stinking kidding me? Out of all these, date covers, I have, these are all pink. I have no red or blue. Oh, you know what, guys? Hold on. I will be right back because I think I do. Hold on. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I do not. So, I will just use the black ones here. I thought I did, but I don't. Okay, that's all right. Okay. So, let's see. Get this off of the way here. All right, so Monday, and you know what I think I'm gonna use? Okay, oh, I had a smaller set of those. I think I'm going to do the white with black. Yeah, that looks good. Four. They're a little bit smaller, but they work great. Fifth. So, Thursday, guys, was my mom's last day of work. She is officially a retired woman. And I am so happy for her. It seriously could not have happened to a better, more deserving person. She has worked... 50 years, guys, 50 years in, as a cosmetologist. Um, she owned her own salon for over 30 of those 50 years. And she 
she has finally retired. She got her license in June, the end of June, um, 50 years ago. That's why she made the last day. She works, she worked Tuesday through Thursday. So she wanted um, to work her th last three days, the, you know. And um, so yeah, she is officially retired. I am so happy for her and so super proud of her. I just, I can't even imagine. Can you guys imagine working 50 years in one, one field? I mean, like, that's like almost unheard of anymore. You know, people just don't do that. But my mommy did, and I am so proud of her, and I just love, love, love her. So I called her. She actually, um, she had to go yesterday and, um, you know, finish getting all of her stuff and, you know, boxing up all of her supplies and, you know, cause she did a chair rental. So, um, you know, she had to go and finish packing up her things and her curling irons and her blow dryers and all of that stuff and then um so she did that yesterday and i said were you sad and she was like not really but i think she was you know she was ready though um you know because i always kept telling her mom you need you know i've told her for many many years that you know you need to retire you're you know, and she was like, well, I want to get my 50 years in and blah, blah, blah. And now she's done it. So I, when I called her this morning, I said, so I said, how does it feel to be a retired woman? <laughs> and she just, she said, oh, it feels wonderful, sis. She says, I don't think it's really set in yet, which, you know, I'm sure it hasn't. Um, so yeah, she's, uh, <laughs> I said, just think, I said, you don't have to like get up and rush around to do anything like today or tomorrow because like you don't have anywhere to go Tuesday. <laughs> and, um, she's like, I know. She's like, it's so exciting. <laughs> so yeah, she's. She's really happy. And let's see. I am going to use my Planner Girl coffee cup here. And Just could not be prouder, I tell you guys. She's a, I'm gonna use this. <laughs> it says Planet Like It's Hot. So she, um,
she was the only one of her group of friends. Well, no, there's a there's one more gal, but she's like not full. You know, she only works because she gets bored. So, like, she works at Starbucks like 20 hours a week, just because she gets bored, I guess. So I don't know. I wouldn't get bored. <coughs> But, um, so yeah, she was, mom was the only one of her friends that, in her group of friends that she is with all the time that, um, still worked pretty much full time. So. But she did say today, she said, um, she said, yes, she said, I was ready so I am so glad that she is done because in my opinion she should have been done a long time ago But that is just my opinion. She was the only one that could make that call. And now she has. And I do not think she will regret it at all. That says, throw kindness like confetti. This one says, picture this. And then Saturday, I need to put a birthday sticker because it's my little dumplings, 20th birthday. So we, um, I don't know if we're going to, I know, um, the girls and I have talked about doing a little, like, you know, just us you know, doing something for mom because I know she doesn't want, I've already asked her. Um, my mom is not one that likes a lot of attention put on herself. So, you know, I, I knew not to do like a big, like, retirement party or anything like that because she would have been very angry <coughs> not angry but she wouldn't she wouldn't have been happy with me doing that and um so I um have talked to the girls we've we you know and um, we figure we'll do like a little dinner for her. just, you know, just us and, and mom. 
um, in the next couple of weeks. Just so. You know, we we want her to know that we're very proud of her and that we love her very much. So we want to do something special for her. And she would love that. She, um, would love to be able to, and we'll keep that kind of a secret, you know. <laughs> like, I'll probably just, like, invite her over for... Just be like, hey, Mom, can, you know, why don't you come over for dinner, blah, 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 that sort of thing. And... That's what we have planned to do for my mommy. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but no, this is Michaela's birthday. That's this week, then the 10th. So next Monday is my niece Selena and Anicia's birthday. Our anniversary is tomorrow. The fourth is Tuesday. Oh, I oof, I need to put um, I'm gonna use this for my girls. Hey, 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 hey. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. I think John's home because they're getting all enraged. Time to relax. It's going to be my weekend banner. Then, oh, I need to put Connie's funeral as Wednesday afternoon. So... just want to find something that I can mark it with. That way I know. Okay, let's go back in here. That is not going to be a good day. And I think I'm going to put this... I'm gonna put this over here under my over my notes. And it says planner girls are the happiest girls. So we'll put this here. Okay. Oh, boy, guys. 
we are going tomorrow. I don't know if I told you guys this in this video or if it was my last in my Target Dollar Spot video, but we are going to go to Connie's tomorrow. Her husband, Steve, called mom to ask if mom and I would like any of her things, any of her jewelry or, um, so we're going to go tomorrow and like I was saying in that, um, like I was saying in that, when I was explaining that, that, um, she um, only had one daughter, Nikki, who was my best friend. And Nick died 10 years ago. She died the year before my brother, Eric. So she doesn't have any other family, you know, to um... hold on guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Sorry about that. John came home. I knew he, I thought I heard the, when the girls were out there barking that that was him, but now he is officially in the house. So I was trying to get this done before he got back. But I get to yakking too much sometimes. <laughs> and then I forgot that I needed to do my deco for this week. Okay, we're going to put this here. And then... to put the liberty or land that I love so that's all right okay I can use those in my happy planner and then let's see we're gonna put And just so you guys remember, I am going to be uploading my happy planner on Mondays. I will do the Carpe Diem and Target Dollar Spot planners on Sunday. Um, that way I'm just not bombarding you guys with all these plan with me's. And that way I can kind of spread out my Spread out my um, my videos a little bit. Hopefully, because I just feel like I get behind, like on my comments. Um, and I hate getting behind on my comments. 
so that way I th hoping I can keep up a little bit better with comments guys so if you know if I don't comment right away it's not that I have forgot or anything like that it's just it's it's hard to keep up with all the, the comments now um, so I'm gonna be putting these little boxes throughout the week to remind me to do comments I feel bad when like today I went in and I was checking my videos and I had a couple comments from that were a week old and oh my gosh I don't want to be that behind on comments I felt horrible 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 so if you guys you know left a comment please know I am going to be getting better at working on my comments, guys. Ugh, and I am sorry if I haven't answered you yet. But I do go through every one of my comments. I read every single one of them. And I try to answer every single one of them. So I'm going to be setting aside certain times every day to check my comments to make sure that I answer them all because I don't want to be that person that doesn't do comments. Okay. All right. So think nope Saturday I need a comment sticker so anytime I have these little squares these are my comment squares since this is my YouTube planner video or my YouTube planner video <laughs> my YouTube planner <coughs> that's why I'm putting those stickers there okay and I think I have everything I needed Michaela's birthday Connie's funeral got my release my plan with me um, I've got I've got several videos coming up this week guys so I've got my happy planner plan with me will come out on Monday um, I've got friend mails that I'm gonna be doing I think I've got like four or five friend mail videos and I may try to condense them into just like two or three I've got some Etsy shop videos. I've got like three, I think, that I need to do. But I'll probably combine those into like one or two. So, yeah. Okay. So, let's punch my holes and then... back in my planner and then start working on my happy planner and I like the way this turned out I love this washi and you're probably going to see it again in my happy planner, guys. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> but 
I really like it. It's just pretty. And I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of um, holiday washi. I've got like everything else but holiday washi. So I need So I need to start the only holiday washi I have is what I get from either the Target Dollar Spot or I bought the um, Michaels um, seasonal box of washi when it was still ten dollars a box for the 45 rolls that is the only holiday washi that I have guys so I need to start getting serious and getting some holiday washi I just get so excited with other washi that I don't even think about like the holiday stuff and I need I need to since I need it. Okay. So, guys, here is my Carpe Diem Reset Girl planner for the week of July 3rd through July 9th. And if you guys liked this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and you want to see more of my videos, please click that red subscribe that's down below, guys. And don't forget to click that little bell that's just above that red subscribe and you will get sent notifications every time I upload new videos. As always, guys, please leave your comments, questions, or suggestions down below in the comment section. And guys, as always, from me to you, a great big hug, and I will see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.